All right, people. What? That's a whole bunch of people missing. It's just three people, but it seems like a... There's four. Who's that? Oh, Lucky. Oh, I forgot. Lucky and Brett. 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 Oh, I forgot. Lucky and Grant is helping with the outfitter. Morton is sick. And what key is getting her tonsils up? Now, do they have like a sick or a sick? Dad called slash sick. No parentheses. One of these days you're going to hear on the outfitter. How come Macy is home helping the folks with the cows and Austin in class? Yeah, she always is. Because Austin helps with the crops, and Macy helps with the cows. Oh, yeah? yeah. That way they don't have to miss so much school. Mm -hmm. That works. So who's I'm up? being called into a meeting. I'm so sorry, you guys. I'll be back to look at presentations as soon as it's over. Okay. That's like asking why we'll be here. Okay. Who's in your group? Let's go. We're getting old here. Time's a wasted. Bring yours. It'll be all right. <laughs> that works. And that works. You get my email. I get it. And this needs to be connected. Ooh, I like those socks. I have never sent. They're slim? Just fill out the whole yeah. thing, you know. Okay. I know what you need. Well, I don't know. know. If you I run the computer, then you the guys talk. <laughs> it's awesome. Can we do that? Yeah. The that. I don't know. They're all over here. I clicked one and then they talked. You know that I got what? No, yeah. Yes, you know that I presented in front of your class. I don't know. You know it was on time. You're kind of sounding shady here. Did you really do that? I know. Don't do it. I'm giving you reasons. You guys need to move that thing and your body so that we can see presentation on here. You're supposed to fill out the whole thing, right? I mean, the brainstorm and stuff? Uh, like, no, you can skip the brainstorm and stuff. Because oh. you don't know, and I do. Well, See? I can go look. I'm giving them And that's the right way to do I that. Ask, I give everybody a point for I told yeah, them. That's what we did last time, when we it, had, like, the it, research. It doesn't okay, matter. Okay, I guess it's not what I have. No, I don't do it. <laughs> no, I better talk. No, I'm not. I can barely talk. I'm not talking. Sometime this week? Okay. <laughs> we have to go over there. That would be me failing hard. There we go. <laughs> We got three done and four to go today. Sure, yeah. And we're going to get them all in. Or else. <laughs> or else what? You're not leaving. Three done. It's all right. We just have read time after this. Oh, yeah. Nobody cares about read time. You can't leave until they're done. So. Sweet. Drag this out as long as physically possible. And all the seniors are coming in here. That's okay. One. Great time. People. Yeah. Emily. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Be quiet. No. <laughs> okay.
can move that desk you should there turn and lay it on there. It's like lay it. Break it. Break it. Just press the like desk there and put the thing on there, then it won't move. Like, push the desk to the wall, put it on there. Oh, then. Okay. Okay. How you can't see the words on it? Oh, well. That's not important. Okay. That's not important. Okay. <laughs> Texting and driving by Megan, Caitlin, and Brian. Velocity is the rate at which the objects are moving. Deceleration. Deceleration is the rate at which an object slows down. <coughs> Inertia. Inertia is a resistance of any physical object to any change in its state in motion. Standard deviation. A quantity calculated to indicate the extent of deviation for group as a whole. <coughs> 55 miles per hour. Statistics. Texting 23 times for. for a device, 1.1 times more likely. And those are more likely to get an accident, by the way, like if you use the chance of getting an accident. Know it! <laughs> a driver takes their eyes off the road for 4.6 seconds every text. That's not paying attention to the road for an entire length of a football field. Young adult stats have texted while driving 34%. 16 to 7 year olds who own phones 82%. Talk on the phone while driving 62%. Claim that they can safely text and drive 77%. That is easy 55%. Teens also spend 10% of their driving time outside of their lane. Adult stats. Parents drive and talk on the phone 48%, text and drive 15%, sent slash received messages 27%. Reaction times. Okay, those are more reaction times. The green is like the male, yellow is female, the blue is auditory male. And pink is auditory and female. And that green is physical male. And that, like, orange is physical female. And this is like their pre teenage years. Like, mm -hmm. it's green is at like 198 maybe. And then yellow the female is at like 310 maybe. And then physical male, so you like. And then physical female is at exactly 250. The auditory male is about 275, maybe. And then the auditory female is at like 310. Reaction times males versus females. Okay, so on like the side, it's our reaction times, and then the blue is females, and then pink is males, and it's for auditory stimulus, um, for the boys it's just a little bit over 300 milliseconds, and then for females, <coughs> visual stimulus, it's right 
car stopping distances? This is how long it takes like for an average family car. For 40 kilometers, be like 17 and older, be breaking distance. On a dry road, would be like 9 meters, I think. <laughs> and then for a wet road, would be 13. And then 21, be 14 for dry road, 20 for wet road, and it goes on by ages. And it gets higher by like 10 every time, almost around 10. texting used, their reaction times were still delayed. The time that drivers spent looking at the road was still less, and driver performance was roughly the same for both. Drivers felt safer using talk to text rather than texting. Stop and get you stuck. Okay, um, but, like, blue, it's like how, how long it takes them to think about it. And then red is like from where they hit the brakes to how far it takes them to stop. At 20 miles per hour, it's 6 for thinking and 6 for braking distance. For 30 miles per hour, it's 9 and then 14. And then 40, 12, and 24. 50, 15, and then 38. 60 miles per hour, 18, and then 55. And then 70, it's 21 to 75. Final thought. How can you use this information to improve your driving habits? And you don't really have to answer this. You just kind of have to think of it. <laughs> okay, there's our citations. continued. And thanks. Let's hang out there. You guys finish putting numbers in your rubric. Start formulating your questions. Hey, Slim, go look at the um at the computer screen, the one that is facing the girls. <laughs> Are you looking at it? Yeah. Do you see her screen up that we're looking at? 
The angle is okay, but we don't see anything but white. Oh, I can see it way good from up here. Yeah, I bet I, you can. <laughs> I got to get a really nasty yeah. angle on my screen, and then I can see it. Um, better or worse? Um, we can see. Thank you now. Go back a couple of um, screens. Let me see if that improved it a little bit. Are there words on there? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. No, we can't see those. We can see, like, the end of continued, I think, is the word that's there, right? But, it, ladies, again, I think it's because it's that white background. And you're going to get that glare if it's a white background, no matter what you do. Even if we were in the room, depending upon where we're at in that location, that white background on a PowerPoint will kill your presentation. Try to use a, an off color. Okay. Or even like gray, like really? a light gray or right. medium gray. Look, but... Oh, we can see that. Yeah. Final thoughts. <laughs> okay. Go, go back to the middle again. To the what? Middle. Can you see it down there now? That doesn't show up real well. It's not. That's going to be better if I get it higher then. Is what I'm seeing. Like different speeds is what you're talking about. Yeah, like that's this. Brock, I can see you picking your nose. Oh wow. Can I ask you? Can I ask you? Okay, I was just gonna ask if you guys had like stopping distances. Um other than the small car. I didn't saw the small car, but I didn't know if you had it for S. Um, for your SUV, SUV, electric car. Now, I know I cut in here a little bit because I want to go past that too. Did you explain the stuff on the bottom? Did you explain the stuff on the side? Uh, yeah, we have the stuff on the side. And did you tell me what we're measuring? It was distance in inches. Distance dropped in ing inches. What in, what in the heck are we talking about distance dropped in ing inches? Um, it's like how long it takes them to like Stop, like how many seconds it this time right speed, like, but it says no. distance speed. dropped it doesn't say how many seconds it doesn't say how long it says how far something dropped what on earth are they talking about right and I can tell you what they did they took a ruler, and they had them hold it with their fingers a certain distance apart, and they said go, and they dropped it, and they measured how far it fell before they got it. I know that because I teach science. That's the only reason I know that. If, if neither one of these ladies knew that, I would not be surprised at all, because that's a very specific little piece of information, and it's not there. But it was on the website you got that from, I'll bet, wasn't it? Yeah. And I'll bet you don't remember reading it until after I said it. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is one of those things. What's what's the D word that gets thrown around here a lot? Tome. Apparently, I don't use it enough. <laughs> this is one of those details. Oh. Details, details, details. This is a great slide. This is a great thing to have in there. But you didn't explain it enough. Is this useful? Yes. Is this the math that you needed to show? Yes. Can you use this to help calculate stopping time? Yes. Because stopping time is, oh crud, I better stop, and now my vehicle is stopped. <laughs> Is this figured in there somewhere? Yeah. How do you figure in how long it takes me to pinch my fingers together to grab a ruler? And how does that help me not hit the deer that jumped in front of me this morning? <coughs> well, hey, you hit a deer? No. But a deer jumped in front of me this morning. I was down well, to about five miles an hour. Mr. Snyder, I want Somebody to... put up a deer crossing sign. Stupid yeah, people. I wish they quit putting those signs up. I know, right? The deer would stay off the road that way. I, I, I know a guy who just hit behind one of them. Yeah. Yeah. I know a guy who's Back here, back here, back here, back here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Back here. Does dropping this ruler factor into stopping distance? No. Does reaction time factor into stopping distance? Yes. Yes. I'll be back. Do you have stopping distance? That was the other question that Justine was asking, or... Oh, the reaction, like, I was... That one. Like... Stopping distance for a small car, but nothing else? Yeah, that, well, that's not the chart Erica was asking, Erica but there was is just... Small car. Erica was asking, okay. I was asking about, But those like, are the stopping distances, but they only have the small car ones, so... Yeah. Yes. That's what I was asking, if they had other things other than the Yes. Car. I think we had pictures, but I don't know if we got it there or not. And, did they calculate this? Were they supposed to calculate this? Yeah, because yeah. I remember seeing that graph when I searched stopping distances for a small car and just put images. Yes. And it has reaction time, and it has braking distance. This is all good. But this is a great thing to check your work on. Did you come up with numbers that were kind of like this? And what speeds did they use? They used the speeds that we used? No, no. Not exactly. But you could do this, and you could you could check and see if you're doing your work right for your small car, because you should be able to get pretty close. Rounding errors, they've got all whole numbers. You're going to have decimals. You don't know if they rounded before they did the math and then rounded again, so you might end up off more than a little. Okay, but this is a great thing to include. Did you think about that? Did you check your work against something? Besides me? What else we got? Remember, we're giving these people feedback, not to make them feel bad. We're giving them feedback so they can be awesomer. It would be if you were awesomer. I'm a grammar Nazi. I'm sorry. <laughs> you, you go back to your um, um, math with the factor labels. You canceled out meters two times in a row. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Do you see it in there? Yeah. These two are going to cancel each other. These two are going to cancel each other. All of this is going to be one. And this meters and this meters cancel each other. How do you show up over there? Because these two killed each other and they went away. But yet it's still over here. So there's something goofy over here. One of these should not be here. So these numbers are off. And you got 800 meters. That's half a mile. Is that right? If you're going 40 miles an hour, do you go half a mile while you're texting? No. No. And 800 meters is half a mile. I know that because of track. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's the 400 meters a quarter, eight to half. Okay. So, the one thing I need to point out right there is, you all know that because of track, right? Yeah. Yeah.
Can you do that? Can you pull that out of your brain and, and apply it right there? When somebody says 816 meters, you go, oh, that's about a half a mile. Oh, no. not quite hey, you might be texting a half mile if your girlfriend breaks up with you and you're just sitting there like, you know, this is... Yeah, stop and ball in the ditch. <laughs> I would call, I'd actually give her a very long phone call on my thoughts of her after that. You gotta break up with her I'm pretty sure you need a phone call. Can we back up to the um, definition of velocity? Why are we doing anything? Oh, just to show you that we're not working out. No, and don't feel bad. Please, don't feel bad. Why did I make her go back to here? Because it's a little underexplained. What did they give us the definition of? Velocity. It's the rate at which an object is moving. Um, I heard it was just speed with a direction. That's the same as another one. Motion. They didn't include direction. This is the definition for? Motion. Speed. Speed. This is the definition for speed. How fast you're going. Velocity is how fast you're going and direction. what direction you're going. Up, down, north, south. Okay? Left turn, Clyde. One more time. Reaction times. Nope, we already did that one, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, then we go down here. Can I comment on the reaction time? <coughs> yes, please. The one with like all the lines, it's really busy and you can't really tell. I would have like taken the visual on one and then the auditory on one and the physical on one because it's like a bunch of different lines. And you, you can't, can't really see follow. the yellow and yeah, it would have been better with like visual and then just auditory. <coughs> how about how about if, if when they did this they said there's three different kinds of people that got measured here? Those that um, are are physical people, athletes, those that are mostly people that like to hear instructions. And those that like to see how things work before they understand it better. And they're all in here, and it's kind of a mess. But this green one down here at the bottom, is that good or bad? That's bad. That's good. Uh, oh, wait. That's a smaller number, but a smaller number is better in reaction time, isn't it? Yes. So these are the fastest ones, and these are the slowest ones. And the very fastest was a visual male. You're, remember, you got a ruler between your fingers and you watch them and as soon as you see it fall, you pinch it. Wouldn't that kind of person go be quicker at that kind of thing? And the one that did the worst is the auditory female, the, the girl that likes to listen to directions and not see things. Sounds like she had a couple of Starbucks in her left hand. And then the one right next to it was the auditory boy, the boy that likes to listen <laughs> rather than see things. That boy doesn't exist. Doesn't that make sense? Jesse is that boy. That would be yeah. boys that are way more into music than sports. That boy doesn't exist. Uh, that boy is Jesse. <coughs> would that graph make more sense like that? And yeah. not try to make you pull out every single piece of information? Just yeah. generally, the uh, visual people <coughs> were both at the bottom. They're the fast. People that like to see things. And that's how they understand best, is when they see things. And then those auditory people, the music people, the ones that like to listen to directions, not read them. Can you just tell me what to do so I don't have to read it? I do better if I read the directions than if somebody tells me. That's just Well, sometimes. Okay? Um, I got one more thing I got to say. Nice. Oh, my God. Nice. Oh, it's all right. Well, clean it up. Don't worry about it. It'll Lick hurt. it up. Lick it up. Just, just make sure it's not running into the uh, outlet. Oh, just went into the outlet. Don't We're all going to die. Really? What, Erica? Be nice. Mr. It's Schneider. Schneider no. <laughs> Mr. Schneider, want to hear my dear joke? Nope. <laughs> I want to hear me read my last comment. All right, I'll tell you Ten percent of driving time outside their lane. Yep. That was the awesomest thing you put in your whole thing. My mom? Like, it's 50% out of her lane. If you drive 100 miles, how many miles are you out of your lane? 10 miles. 10 miles, Ten hey. miles hey, out of your lane between here and Mitchell. And you still survived. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes. How many people <coughs> went in a ditch to avoid you teenagers that spent 10 miles out of your lane? 
Yeah. I've never been in the lane out my, of my lane that long. And they had a conclusion. They actually talked about their results <coughs> for a very short period of time, but they did it. It was in there. I was impressed. Ladies, you seemed a little nervous, were you? Caitlin standing there looking directly at the screen, but they're back to all of us. Oh, yes. Is that bug the hell? Reading the slides Sorry. makes you no feel way cool, right? Language. Watch your pod video, oh, Missy. I have a pod It's offensive. Yeah, oh my gosh. You're offensive. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Don't hurt not. Are you impressed that people that are 14 years old can read? Yes, I am. No. That's, if that's I impressive? Read, I'm no. impressed. <laughs> okay, so don't read them. <laughs> Summarize them. Talk about them. I've said um, several times in this building, like 30, these things are not a teleprompter. You're not supposed to type in every word that you're going to say when you do your presentation. Some of those had to be to the It feels safer to do that, but they're really just supposed to be talking points to remind you yourselves of what you're going to say. And you can have like a little note card that you're holding that has Journal. more detail on it Journal. if you feel like you need it. But I can't tell you how, like so many adults do this and it's so boring. I want to like shoot myself in the face when I sit through <laughs> presentations where grown-ups are reading word for word to me. And so if you guys get good at this now, you'll be set for life. Yes. You'll be pro presenters forever. You don't have to be that boring person that everybody wants to just kneecap. You gotta be the guy wearing the shirt to the parties, bro. <laughs> Questions? Oh, M M four zero six two. Somebody tell me one more thing they did well. They made a presentation. No. They, added they, some added they did the research. They added some pizzazz to their slides. They got out of bed. <laughs> and they cited their sources in APA that. format. Talk about lowered expectations. Oh, <laughs> That is awful. I just really, it's a short joke. All right. All right, don't we have to move on? We have to move on. <laughs> hey, read Lana. We don't want to go nice. Lana and I, not me. Who's up? Ah, where'd I put it? We are. Caitlin, what's this? Let's go, Lou. We need to do one for our honor. We did. 3 1. I can't believe I did this 50 bucks back there. You guys are good. Yeah, you're right. He get it? He wasted fifty bucks. He wasted fifty bucks on drinks. <laughs> that ain't right. Oh man, are we presenting? Yeah, I see the hair. Hair. People that went last time. Have you made corrections yet? No. Nope. Are you good enough? Wait, yes. yeah. are we supposed to hand in our PowerPoint? Like, I don't think now we can do one bricks. And then we just... And then you to turn in another one after it's changed. Otherwise, how do I know that it changed? I only have eight bricks. Well, um, the Olympics. Mr. Schneider, do we include me on this? Yeah. She was in on the building. I feel really like squished texting and driving final. You have to stay. Oh, that I see. Three seven. Look at my hair. It took me a while to get this.
stopping distance. Distance traveled between the time when you decide to stop and when the vehicle completely stops. Reaction distance. The amount of time it takes to respond to something. <coughs> speed. How fast an object is going in a momentum, the force or speed of the movement. <coughs> Distance traveled is distance equals speed times time. <coughs> Stopping distances. This is for an SUV. Uh, 20 miles an hour. Average stopping distance is 7 and 1 tenth meters. For 40 miles an hour, it's 37 and 79 hundredths meters. <coughs> 55 miles an hour, it's 68 and 58 hundredths of meters. And 65 miles an hour. 95 and 9 tenths meters. Uh, for 75 miles an hour, it's 121 and 6 tenths meters. <coughs> and for 80 miles an hour, it's 140 and 103,000 meters. Stopping distance for a pickup. At going 20 miles an hour, the average is 24.3 <coughs> meters. For 40 miles an hour, it is 42.3 meters. For 55 miles an hour, it's 60.35 meters. For 65 miles per hour, it is 96.31 meters. Going 75 miles an hour, it is 106.7 meters. And going 80 miles an hour, it is 133.807 meters. Stopping distance for an XEV, uh, 20 miles an hour is 15 and 2400 meters. 40 miles an hour, it's 40 and 48 hundreds meters. 55 miles an hour, it's 41 and 91 hundreds meters. 65 miles an hour, it's 49 and 53 hundreds meters. For 75 miles an hour, it's 57 and 15 meters. And for 80 miles an hour, it's 60 and 96 hundreds of meters. Stopping distance for a luxury <coughs> car. Going 20 miles an hour, it is 10.57 meters. Going 40, it is 34.13 meters. Going 55, it is 51.20 meters. Going 65 miles an hour, it is 71.35 meters. Going, <coughs> going 75 miles an hour is 91.44 meters. And going 80 miles an hour is 111.25 meters. There's a clear. Can you guys read our presentation? I can see it. I can see the bottom half anyway. Okay. I think there's glare on the screen from the light. Yeah. It's okay. We can see it. I can see enough. Okay. It fades from a really light blue at the top to dark blue at the bottom. It's the background. Come on, Layla. Yeah, it looks nice. It's Do I have a slide? Oh, okay. Uh, stopping distance for Ford Focus is uh, 20 miles an hour. It's 20 and 4 tenths meters. For 40 miles an hour, it's 42 and 3 tenths meters. For 55 miles an hour, it's 60 and 96 hundredths meters. For 65 miles an hour, it's 82 and 29 hundredths meters. Uh, for 75 miles an hour, it's 106 and 68 hundredths meters. And for 80 miles an hour, it's 133 and 8 tenths meters. Distance traveled by texting going 20. <coughs> going 20, a person would travel 41.12 meters in 4.6 seconds. Dif distance traveled going uh, texting going 40 miles an hour. Uh, going 40 miles an hour, a person and travel around 82.25536 meters in a little over four and a half seconds. This is traveled texting going 55. Going 55 miles per hour, a person would travel 113.1011 meters in 4.6 seconds. <coughs> Distance traveled texting going 65 miles an hour. Person would travel around 
five meters in a little over four and a half seconds. Distance traveled texting going 75. A person going 75 would travel 154.2288 meters in 4.6 seconds. Uh, distance traveled texting while going 80. person going 80 miles an hour would travel around 164.5107 meters in a little over four and a half seconds. Reaction time for newbies. The average reaction time for a 14 year old is 0.46 seconds. The reaction time for adults. The average reaction time for a 36 year old is 0.22 seconds. Reaction time for the elderly. The average reaction time for a 6 year old is 0.23 seconds. Response times are significantly significantly delayed no matter which texting method was used. In each case, drivers <coughs> took about twice as long to react as they did when they weren't texting. Drivers felt less safe when they were texting, but felt safer when they were using a voice-to-text application than when they were texting manually, even though driving performance suffered equally with both methods. We need to work on APA, it looks like, a little bit yet, too. Yeah. Um, Hello. Your internet connection is unstable. Um, well, I'm curious what the, what the reaction time is between, like, a 14-year-old who sees it and reacts and an adult who sees it and reacts a little bit slower. So I'm wondering what the difference is between the, the mind noticing it and the actual physical reaction. You made me think about something. That's a good thing. <laughs> and go to your pie chart. And see if Mr. Detterman thinks your, your pie chart makes any sense at all. I don't no. think it does. Not really. It wasn't, it wasn't a good idea. I didn't no. really... I, I love the fact that it's in a pie chart. It's not actually the right kind of thing to go in a pie chart, because you don't have out of 100, do you? Yeah. No. But I would have split that into thirds, so you have the young, the middle, and the old, because I like having it all right there, and I can look at all of them, and I can compare them. But I don't think I buy that. Unless the site you were on factored in realizing that there's a problem before you react. The adults are better at that than kids are. So then I would, then I would buy your numbers. Who was up just a minute ago? Were your numbers the same as theirs? No. Your numbers were way smaller than that, weren't they? So I think the think time is in there, in these numbers, where the think time was separate from your numbers. That's good to know. Was it, was it for your 
stopping distances, did you have math for that? No, we did not have for the doing stopping distances. We had to take care of one of mine. Well, I think we did it. I don't know if we showed it, though. Right. And can you go the other way, one more slide? Backwards one? Whichever opposite of where you were going. Yes. Look at that number on there, people. Why am I pointing out that number instead of the other number? Which number? <coughs> that one. It's very long. Go to the next number. Oh. Five decimals? Yep. Go to the next one. Oh, only four decimals on that one. You ever heard of the concept of significant figures? Nope. Nope. You're gonna. What is that? That's what's been violated right here. It's okay. It's okay. It's a concept I want to know if you had or not, but you'll get it. Not a big deal. Anybody else? If you guys do a good job of asking questions and paying attention, I don't have to do 17 things at the end. Did you have like age difference in there? Yeah. Yes, they did. Go back to the beginning for me, please. And find momentum. It's like the third slide or maybe fourth. <coughs> Comment, but it's minor. Okay. If, if someone's still talking, I'm sorry. No. no I was good. just having them go to this slide, is all. Go ahead, Heather. Um, so there was a slide where you had the stopping distances all listed out, which was super helpful. Um, I really appreciate that actually about a lot of these presentations that you guys include all that information on there, but you don't have to read every single stopping distance. That goes with what I was saying to the last group too about going down each and every bullet point, like people can read, they can see that. You can just say, here are a stopping distance and give them like a few seconds to look over them and kind of process them a little bit. And maybe talk about the short one and the long one for this vehicle. And then when you go to the next slide, you can compare the short one and the long one. Because I wrote down that you should not read 12 numbers off of six consecutive slides. Because that's 72 numbers on six slides in a row. And it's just, whoa. Somebody it's, shoot me. Yeah. yeah. To, <laughs> to add to what Mrs. Keller is saying, too, that you don't have to speak the whole time. Those little pauses where you aren't speaking are really powerful in a presentation. It gives you a minute to look at your audience and see if they're trying to strangle themselves or if they're looking for the door or if they're paying attention. Jesse's trying to strangle himself. <laughs> I don't blame you. All righty. That was my next point, which I don't have to make. Why did I ask them to go to this slide? Because it's blue. Because you can't see the light. <laughs> it's, white on content. It's not. It's, it's not, not about the dress. pretty. I like the pretty. And so it's about the content. What's wrong with the content? The, the way they're four or speed. Maybe. It's spelled wrong. Yeah. This is like science class for crying out loud. <laughs> is it force or is it speed? Science. I would say force. I'm just thinking about like playing football and exactly. momentum. You know, Use something you know. Like using my momentum. It's not, I don't got speed, but I can get momentum by giving more force. Somebody's going down Main Street. Main Street's all covered with snow and packed ice, and it's okay. been that way for a month. They're coming down with a pickup, and you can hear the cattle banging in the trailer behind the pickup. Okay. Do you run out in front of them, or do you make darn sure they're going to stop? I make darn sure they're going to stop. Because? They'll slide, keep on going, because they have no traction, and they have you, a lot of You know things. that vehicle's heavy enough, it's not going to stop worth a darn. Especially with no traction. Or no traction. Right. So you know about momentum. Is momentum about force or is it about speed? <coughs> it's about force. It's about force. And Let's just put duct tape over that yeah, speed for now. Okay. And inertia is what? The uh, resistance of the thing, trying, or the ability, or something 
want to stay going or stay stopped? Yes. Resistance to change in motion. 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 It wants to keep doing whatever it is it's doing. Where do you buy yeah. these at? Just a quick question. Oh, Wally World. Mean, like what? 58 cents a piece. Really? I'm going to start buying those. We get a bunch of like cartons. Oh. Wait, what are you doing this time? Walmart, Walmart. Go like this. Anybody else? I have a six material. That covered most of mine. Um, Jesse? I love how you call it Walmart. Hey, do I at least get a Jesse, like, point stop. out for the hairdo? It would be really awesome if you would start using darker backgrounds so that they get picked up by the camera. Thanks, Dougal. There you go. Let me do it. Yeah. Next. I it was very schoolish. Emily, I didn't send you guys another rubric because everything was the same. Jesse? You really didn't need to work on it. <gasps> no, well, we added the stuff. You, you have to send me it so I can turn it in. I know, but that was our practice one. We switched a lot of things. Rock. Because I gave you an A plus on the first one. You are really good. Thank you. <laughs> Only one person was here for the whole thing and did most of it. I help. Hey, we're doing this on the weekend. This is how it goes. I'm on my iPad looking stuff up. Macy's sleeping. It's like at eight o'clock. She's sleeping. She couldn't respond. Hey, I'm getting some. We have one left. Yeah, that's us. <laughs> Are we going? My mom yeah. burned someone like the other hair, day. Like, yeah, like uh, my, my mom burned someone with a joke my hair on yesterday. Too. This guy I had a uh, turkey, and, and he was like checking out with it, and he put it on his hand, and my mom's like, hey, turkeys aren't supposed to bite back after they're dead. Okay. I'll turn the camera towards you. I'll turn the camera towards you. Pessimist Erica. No, we have one that you can borrow. Erica, You should have told him, no, but we have one that you can borrow. Okay. We have half an hour. That's not enough time. An hour and 35 minutes worth of stuff to do. Are you sure? Are we doing another presentation? Yeah, I, think I can kill an hour anytime on any subject. Me too. Oh, I couldn't. I'd rather sleep. Oh, it's blank. It's Caleb, Jesse, and Brent, not Caleb that and Borden. That thing's not on. Caleb, what group are you in? Uh, I'm going to just There. I was in Facebook here. Last time I had a I heard she wasn't. Her and I are always sick on the same days. Macy wasn't here the last time I had class. Um, I think she was. Yeah, she was. I don't remember. Have you noticed that? She just sent me a rubric. Got it. Can just I sent you one, one but she just can't. now? No, I can't. Ready? No, 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 no. It's no, no, no. You gotta be ducky. Like my hair? <laughs> Presentation. Presenting style. What? Is that what happens when you look up from your text and you see there's a deer in front of you? <laughs> <laughs> Super stylish. What? Like a cat. I sent you a rubric that you like an A+. Oh, because I told the other kids to talk more, which they didn't Yo, yeah, please to talk What? I'm waiting for these guys. Make them. What? Make them. Okay, okay, okay. Just go. Oh. You done? Just go. Okay. <laughs> Just start talking. All right. Texting and driving by Caleb, Brent, and Jesse. It's illegal. Can you yeah. dot, like, capitalize names? Huh? No. Okay. Wait till they're done. So now, imagine you are driving down the highway in your little car at about 6 in the morning, heading to work at an easy 65 miles per hour. 
you're about 700 foot from a shelter belt when your phone text tone starts ringing in your pocket. You pull out your phone like you've always done before to see what your friend sent. You pull out your phone and like you've always done before to see what your friend sent. And while you're too busy reading the text to see your road, out from the shelter boat pops a little whitey tail buck starting to cross the road. <laughs> <coughs> Back. Okay. okay. But while this is happening, you're too busy looking down at your phone, and bam, your car is totaled and the buck is dead, all because you couldn't wait to read about how Jerry's baby said his first words. Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> um, terms. A shelter belt is a group of trees to protect something from, well, what's happening out right now. Gale forced winds. Um, Mass is the amount of atoms in a particular object. Uh, momentum is the force of speed at which a object moves at. Um, reaction times, the time at which you uh, react or your brain goes, oh, there's something there. Uh, inertia is the resistance of an object to change motion or state of Some texting and driving dangers. Okay. Effects on drivers when texting and driving. You take your eyes off the road. You are putting your life and others on the road in danger. And 18% of most fatal crashes occurred because of texting <coughs> and driving. It makes it, and it makes it 23 times more dangerous when texting than with no distractions. More dangers. Texting and driving is now worse than drinking and driving. 100,000 crashes a year involve texting and driving. 14 to 18 year olds that text and drive are the biggest hazards on the road. 36% uh, per of teens say they were about in a crash while they were texting. Texting and driving is like driving after you drink more than four beers. There's 41 states where it's illegal to text and drive, and South Dakota is one of them. Okay. 660,000 drivers text and drive each day. 11 teens die each day from texting and driving. Middle-aged people are the most dangerous if they text and drive. <coughs> Five seconds is the middle of minimal amount of attention that the driver who texts takes away from the road. And if traveling at 55 miles per hour, this equals driving the length of a football field without looking at the road. When you look away, looking away for more for five seconds going 20 miles per hour, you travel about 130 feet. Going 40, you travel about 261 feet. Going 55, you travel about 360 feet. Going 65, you travel about 425 feet. Uh, going 70, you travel about 457 feet. Going 80 miles per hour, you travel about 522 feet. Then there's some reaction times, and as you can see, it tends to fade. At least the statistics show, most of the ones that we looked at show that it tends to fade as we get older. Like, well, I guess for teens, you kind of have your prime in your middle age, but then as you get older, it starts to decrease, probably sometime around the age of 30 or so. Statistics. Nine, um, nine. Amount of Americans killed in a vehicle crash that was involved by distraction by phone each day. 25% probability that a crash uh, was involved with a cell phone. Uh, two seconds, the amount of time you can safely look away from the road. Five seconds, the average time it takes to send a text. 
33% of Americans 18 to 64 reported writing a message on their phone while driving. 341,000 crashes in 2013 involved texting. Okay. And then here's just kind of a little pie chart to give you a visual idea of who the crashes. Yeah, who's involved in them? Who died. Okay. And then some factors of stopping, like things that just affect what your reaction time and such is distractions such as texting and driving and at higher speeds you're going to go farther before you can stop or you're going to go faster you're going to go farther I'm you're going to go farther in a you're shorter gonna, amount of time yeah tiredness you know falling asleep at the wheel and such i've been there before and fatigue just don't want to look at the road. Uh, stopping distances. Every type of vehicle has its own stopping distances. Uh, and it depends on the weight or how the vehicle is made. <coughs> it also depends on the road conditions. Because you aren't going to stop uh, the same amount on a nice day like today with, you know, optimal conditions or if it's like Mr. Snyder said before if you're got a icy road you're gonna stop a lot farther than if you had a nice warm road uh, also it depends on the age or reaction time of the driver uh, poor car conditions such as if your tires aren't uh, new and they're a bit old and they don't get as much traction or if your brakes are just metal scraping against metal, or if your brake pump isn't the strongest, or your power steering goes out, or... Like my pickup. That all explains his pickup. Okay, and next we're going to show some of the stopping distances for vehicles. And to find all of these, most of these stopping distances, we got a reliable stopping distance from a reliable source on the internet and then we use the proportions to calculate the speeds for other or the distances for other speeds. Stopping distances uh, <coughs> types of vehicles with stopping distances for small cars at 20 miles per hour they can stop at 34 feet going 40 <coughs> miles per hour they can stop at they can stop at 128 feet. At 55 miles per hour, they can stop at 176 feet. At 65, they can stop at 208 feet. 75 miles per hour, they can stop at 240 feet. At 80 miles per hour, they can stop at 256 feet. Okay, and then for a pickup, as you can see, they are generally heavier than a small car, so their momentum is going to push them farther over the road, hence 62 feet compared to 30-some, <coughs> and at 80 miles per hour, 246, which is quite a ways. An SUV is not quite as heavy as a, or can sometimes be lighter than a pickup, but some pickups are lighter than them. We just picked one. Uh, SUVs are usually more top heavy since they have a higher roof and they're up in the air more. Uh, at 20 miles per hour, they'll stop at 40 feet. At 40 miles per hour, they'll stop at 80 feet. At 55 miles per hour, they'll stop at 111 feet. At 65 miles per hour, they'll stop at 132 feet. At 75 miles per hour, they'll stop at 152 feet. At 80 miles per hour, they'll stop at 162 feet. <coughs> and then XUV, generally pretty close to the SUV because they're not too far in body style and weight. And, and the name is the only difference is the X. So.
four-door luxury car is almost sort of like a small car, except maybe a bit longer or wider. You can see the distances there and the speeds. So, let's look back on our man at the shelter belt. While he was looking down on his phone, he couldn't see the road, and so what was to stop him from hitting a deer? But now just think, what if that had been a woman with a couple of kids in a small town, and he was just driving 20 miles an hour? Um, I'd like to say the stopping distances in the, of the cars, those were with optimal conditions and like, uh, almost computer fast uh, reflexes or you know just yeah and even at 20 miles an hour a car has the mass and the momentum to kill you and in a small neighborhood all it takes is a couple of seconds of looking away just for some kid to run out in front of you because his ball went into the street so please don't risk others lives by reading a most likely unimportant message These are our references. Did you guys have standard DVDs? No. No. What was that question? I'm not sure I heard it. Did we have standard deviation? <laughs> I really liked how you guys had the story in the beginning. That was a really good intro. And then you wrapped it up at the end, you connected back to it. So to me, that sounded like a the so what moment. You guys totally had it covered. Do you agree, Schneiders? I, I agree completely. I wanted to listen to what you said because you were telling me a story. The only suggestion I would have is don't give me the story on the screen. Just tell us the story. And then at the end, you could put some info up there about it so that it all ties it back together. But, yeah, you guys did a great job giving us a narrative, and that did was awesome. Did you guys have the citations? Really good. Yeah. Also, yeah, listening to vocab at the beginning, saying here are the things yet. that, here are the big words in our presentation that we learned and that you might not know yet. That's like Ph.D. quality work right there. That's what, like, my colleagues in my doctoral program mm -hmm. get knocked down for is there's not enough definitions everywhere. You guys covered that right at the beginning, so good job. Emily? Uh, did you have distance traveled? <coughs> did I miss that? Distance I think traveled. you had. For what? They had yeah, they had it. Yeah. 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 <coughs> yeah, that was the white numbers in two columns, way over on the left. Anybody want to hack on something? Well, I was going to ask if they had a talk to text. They did. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I saw it. I didn't think so. Did I see it? I, I, can you show us that again? I don't remember seeing talk to text. I don't know if we put that in. I had it sitting here talking about it. Then I don't know. Go back one. Go back two. Hang on a second. Nope. Never mind. I was wrong. I thought it could be, but I guess it could be wrong. Mrs. Schneider, do you think that they need references for all of those statistics they gave on like the fourth and fifth slides they do I, and you guys I would like you to start integrating those references in the speaking <coughs> part not just leaving them for the end and and you kind of did you alluded to the fact that you had a reliable source at one point go ahead and tell your audience who they are it just gives more value and it gives more credibility to what you're saying like the uh, FCC with the .gov and those, yeah. were, and the .org ones were the reliable ones, and we found a dot, a .gov one with uh, speed calculator, uh, way to tell speed by putting in numbers in this formula. And I'd like to see those on the slides. If you stole this picture from this site, I'd like to see that site. We do. Right <laughs> on that same slide with the picture. We do. Did you? Yeah. yeah right there. Oh, there it is. It's up in the corner. Good. 
And, then all and the them. cartoons that you had? Yep, they had them. That, that cartoon right there was there. awesome. I can't read them. And then right there. Yeah. I missed them too. Good job on that. Can you show right me there. your distance traveled? Oh. There, there, there. Oh, there's that. Oh, there. <laughs> Wait, distance traveled was saying While texting. And did we see the math on that? Did we see the math on anything? I didn't oh, yeah. see there, any shown words. No, but we have basically just use that proportion thing for most of them. Because the factor label, isn't that just to take it into a different labeling? Yes, but you're taking 20 miles an hour and turning it into 130 feet. Which should be metric, by the way. It should be yeah. meters. I but just didn't want to use metric because that's what factor label is for, right? And and you're right, you should. And now that everybody's done, I can I can talk about this. But that list right there, over on the right hand side, you should have a football field with a track around it and some bars. And then 130 feet should be blue, and the 261 should be red, and the next one, you know, and then you should have the bars going across <coughs> the football field. Because when you get to 80 miles an hour, you're going from outside the track looking at the football field all the way past the track on the other side of the football field. And that's something that you guys know, you're familiar with. You know how far that is when it's cold outside at the very last football game and you got to walk all the way over there to the concession stand and you complain about how cold it is and how far that is. But that's how far you text. It's that's how far you drive while you're texting. It gets too hot, not too cold. Well, we have the football field on our... Yes. Right. Or a, a city block. You know, a, a Google map shot of the school with the county courthouse and draw your lines across there. And, you know, 522 feet is going to be from that road over there, over the middle of the courthouse building, probably. Which is more than a city block. Might be more than two. Ending with that picture was a great idea, whoever had that one. That was me. And it's, this, the goal of this was not to convince you not to text and drive. The goal of this was to show you the math and have the math convince you not to do that. But having that picture as the very last slide in the very last presentation, that worked out about perfect, didn't it? half of the presentation was other info. Uh -huh. You said don't. I know he told us not, Mrs. Schneider told us not to add anything, but I think with this one it was, it worked out. Really was a lot How of much of that was extra? Like half of it. But the it, story at the beginning? It kept us interested though. And like, this picture at the end? Are you jealous of me? No, it's just, that was a lot of extra. Was, was there more than that? I, I, I like that. I, I, I like that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that most of the work was spent on finding all that instead of... But Maybe. Still, that was less slides than you had. Hang on. Yeah. Don't get mad, Jesse. We're just trying to talk about hey, how good this is and how good it could be. She's trying to drag them down. I'm getting them Chill. Make don't, let, don't let this change your opinion about the work. Did they have the math that they needed to show? No. Take the points away. The end. There's no emotion in that. It's, it's either there or it's not. They had the story at the beginning. They had a couple of cartoons in there which were no big deal. I don't even count them. And then the tire and the cross at the end. Was there anything extra besides that? They had no. some statistics, like if you go back, um, like... Oh. The, the crash. Yep. The red Ferrari under the semi. 
Like that was extra. That'd be a bad day. That's a Camaro. Go back even further. I'd go back to the semi for Henson Ferraris. That's extra. How far, Erica? Farther. Farther. Like right there, that one, the more dangerous that one was. Hey, they're giving us more facts. But I like this. You're right. I forgot about it. You're right. That is extra. I, I don't think that's a very big deal because they're giving us more facts. It's like, you look deeper into it, it's like, well, maybe I shouldn't be texting and driving. Like, all these formulas, all oh, that doesn't look too bad. But they bring this extra well, stuff. Well, if you look like, at it maybe from a far point away, it looks like they used all this extra to cover up for not having the map. Yes, it does. But if you it pull does. in a bunch of math and then you pull in somebody from the street and you're just like, hey, what do you think of this? They're just going to be like, it's math. <laughs> right. But you also and, have to have and and here's the deal, guys. I didn't cuss about this stuff because they got about the right amount of it in there. Does anybody disagree with me? No. If I had told you to convince me not to text and drive, how much math would I have gotten at all? None. I would have got all this stuff, right? And that's not what we're after. Because all of this stuff is, is emotion. All of this stuff is... It's feelings, and it's trying to scare you. See, you told me math when is I math. Started, leave emotions out of it. Exactly. Exactly. So, and I didn't think everybody would be able to, to be honest with you. You guys did better than I thought on that part, we were about leaving that out. We were trying to aim more for the, the idea of educate them into not wanting to do it. Right. And that's... that's a, a and little more advanced than most ninth, grade, most ninth graders can think, to be honest. That doesn't mean all of you in this room can't do it. But on the average, ninth graders aren't. I would have, but I said school is better than It's It's easier not to. It's harder to do this. Do you believe they did the math? Yes. yes. I believe they did the math, too, because I looked over their shoulders so while I was walking around. They just didn't include it. They should have included it. Did we take points away because they didn't include it? Yes. All right, let's move on. Another thing I noticed, everything was in feet and not Yes, and, and I mentioned that a little bit. I didn't make a big deal out of it, but they're going to fix that. And if you want the feet there because it makes them better impact, fine, <coughs> but we still got to have the meters. Anybody else have questions on your presentation? You guys are good. You can sit. Have a seat. All in all, it's pretty good for a boy's group. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I love just Dave's perspective. It's pretty good for Brett being in the new day. Yeah. Brett wasn't here for like the last few days. Yeah, it was. He just wasn't here for like the last two days. <laughs> Brett's been invisible for the last half of this. So, these things are done, and you're going to get them emailed before school is over today, right? Yeah. Okay. And I'll sit down after you guys leave and, and send Wait, you emails, too. how many kids do we have in our class? Like, 17. 17. Okay. I think. I probably won't get, like, these. So, how many of you have given lots of high grades while you're scoring the other people? Uh, pretty, I, pretty, I, I try to be somewhat them. fair, like, take yeah. into, like, how but they met I mean, overall not good. Hey. I didn't that, say that, not good. Oh, wait, let me try to do this. You're so cool. <laughs> Says, On these rubrics. No, 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 no. Time out, time out, time out. I just heard something that's really horribly sorry. bad. I said sorry. Okay. <laughs> I don't think that that's my opinion. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're right. It's my opinion. You're right. This is not about feelings. We're not going to do things on purpose to hurt feelings. That would be wrong. But when the presentation isn't up to snuff, we have to point out what's wrong with it because we have to get it fixed. Now, I know you can all do better. But if we don't point out what's not up to snuff about it, how are you going to do better? I always, I always tell my kids to say something positive about it first. It just changes your whole mindset going into it from there. Because it's really easy to say the bad stuff. Yeah. 
If so you always can, say something positive first. If you can start with something good and end with something good. You guys all did well. well and then I sandwich all the other bad stuff in the middle there. Yeah. Oh. And none of it can be intended to hurt somebody's feelings. If you're trying to hurt people's feelings, you're doing it wrong. And you need to be uh, smacked upside the head probably. We want to say grade ourselves, right? Say it to themselves. No. Yep. What? Why? We did last time. <laughs> I didn't grade myself last time. Grade ourselves. 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 Grade I, I was going to ask you guys if you've heard of the compliment sandwich before. I have. Here we go. What? I nope. Saying, oh. Some people have. Like here. compliment criticism compliment. Yep. Like the bread of the sandwich yep. is the compliments, and then the meat or cheese of the sandwich is the bad stuff, even though it's opposite the in real life. always good for me. This so like nice. you give someone a compliment, you say, okay, well, I really liked how you did this, but, you know, you could have done all these other things better, and then... But in the end, this other thing was pretty good, too. So you end on a positive note. Is that everybody? If we're talking about feelings, that, you know, yeah. I thought I would bring that up. You know me. You could also I... just be mean. You could do an open-faced compliment sandwich and just give them all the dirt. You know me. I'm always talking about feelings. <laughs> You're such an emotional guy. All the feelings. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Is it bad that I have to cheer for a while? I feel bad. So wait, so we have to grade ourselves, so do we have to like send it to the other people around the You should, because I think it would be interesting for you to compare what you thought about your group and what other people thought about your group. Oh, you want to just make our own group? I want you to do your own group, yes. And send it to your partner. Okay. <coughs> okay, what's it? Hey, Mrs. Keller. I'm going for the Buckeyes this weekend. All right, thanks. Why is that? Is that because Michigan, Michigan State? State is no, it's because if Michigan and Ohio State both win this weekend, then it's the division showdown. Who goes to the Big Ten Championship? Division showdown at the shoot. No, it's a big house this year. Is it? Yeah. It's going to be like the first year both shot by foot coach. So, freshman. What did you learn in this unit? Don't text and drive. Don't text and drive. What else? Don't text and drive. It's dangerous. Did you learn any math? Uh, no. Yeah. I feel like that helped me with conversion factors. Like the lot of math You got conversion factors all figured out now? Yeah. I hate math. Conversion factors are easy? <gasps> yeah. They're not no, like easy peasy, but I can only do them. If I gave you more conversion factor problems like we no, had before, no, would you ace them? I don't know. Probably not. You, know, you would just ace them and make your grade go up, wouldn't you? Yeah, I'm over conversion factors. Once you get it, you don't want to do any more, do you? No. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> so, how about if I gave you um, physics problems dealing with cars? No. Nope. No. What's our next unit about? Um. Something about keeping your forehead off the windshield. <laughs> <coughs> seat belts. <coughs> and seat belts. What is up with you and cars? Uh, <laughs> are you not 14? I, I don't want to Did you not get your driver's cars. license in <laughs> last year? Yeah. Hey. I'm just gonna, There you go. That's the deal. I don't wear my seat belt a lot. I'm I just, just I don't wear mine when I'm going uh, to Greg Green. You're going to want to change that. I, I live 18 miles from here, so I where when I'm driving like to and from town. I don't wear it like in town. Well, well accidents happen within two miles of the house. Actually, I'm going to Like, I would do that really good. Go Kaylee's on head's on backwards today. Wait, going back to it, it's going to happen. Both of my accidents have been within 10 miles. Both? Both? My steering went out on my 86 pickup. It did. 
then, the deer. yeah, I hit a deer. I was coming home from the rodeo. I nearly missed it. I was like, you nearly missed it. I nearly missed it. Did you report it? Huh? Oh, it wasn't that bad. What? Well, if you it's still an accident, if you reported it, you'd probably get a license to take it away for your ATV. So they take it away until it's 60, though? Yeah, because yeah, when you're... I nearly missed it. You came from my driver's well, side. I hit, like, right on the edge of my passenger. If you get caught without a license, you're not really licensed in Haley. If you get caught without a license, you can't get it in Haley. In Nebraska, still. Yeah, this is our software. I don't know where I got this, because it all plays like that. Guess who won the uh, Major League Baseball Championship? Oh, no, Can you please thank Steve? Where's the drummer guy? And one of my professors who uh, works in the front office for him. There's a, we have a family in town. Well, they had the cousin that was great, Brett Sanders, like MVP of the 86. <laughs> Seventh grade. There's four books in it. Oh my gosh, no. Is that clock off of it? You know, you know, Clayton Jacobs? Wait, no. Bye! 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 See you guys later. Bye, you guys. Bye! See you Monday. Time to go get in trouble for Mr. Moore.